All right, you're welcome back. Time to do some entertainment news. And Miss G is here. What's Hi, what's Yaraba. Hi, Miss G. Okay, so just happening now, a few minutes ago, actually, uh, is an endorsement uh, of the brand Stone Boy by oh. international brand Samsung. Wow. And he's become your new ambassador. Wow. And so it's a big deal for Stone Boy. So we'll be speaking to the uh, Samsung uh, folks and also Stone Boy. But he thinks that this deal puts him up a notch higher mm -hmm. or a notch away from his folks. At the time, we had a product that suited uh, what we wanted to push as a brand, and that's why we went with Sarkodie at the time, and we had a similar one-year contract, and the contract ran out. Um, when it came to choosing Stoneboy, we were looking at someone that extends our brand, that is in line with what we promise our brand, which is do what you can't. And right now in the music business, he is blazing the trail uh, within the music business. We are blazing the trail within the electronics business. Uh, with, with his push and with his brand, uh, we, we, can, we, we can effectively uh, go to the market together. As a, as a musician, one who appeals to a large market, how does this you know, um, influence what you do? Um, yeah, it influences, I mean, the influence it has on what I do is that it adds up to my profile. You know, so when you mention, you can say Stoneboy, like it's just like all the big stages that are mounted, you know, when your name is mentioned, it all comes up. All the big awards you've won, it all comes up. And then ambassador deals as well will come up. So this would be one of the big ones after doing men's gold. This is one of the big ones. This is Samsung, you know, it's an international brand, you know, so it comes. It comes in. It comes in handy for me. It's a. It's, it's a good step. It's a great step for 2019, and I know that it puts me at a different level amongst my peers, and it actually encourages me to keep running. You feel me? Okay, so uh, uh, you know that uh, when Stoneboy went to Jamaica, and that's a song he has with Bini Man, that's a video of the song. When he right. went to Jamaica, we had his act rival, Chatawali, talk about the fact that he went taking photos. <laughs> so now that he's got a Samsung phone, I said, okay, now you've got a phone to take more pictures. Uh -huh. And here's how he responded. <laughs> we are still taking pictures. If you know they come take more pictures, if I know, right? And this will take clearer pictures and better pictures. Like if you go on my page, everything that I've shot, if you see me on stage, especially the show, I started filming. I only got my handset. I mean, I've had Samsung handsets the times that I launched the other ones. But actually, I just moved finally, like finally, finally a week ago. And all the shows that you see me post, like the angles, the, yo, it's amazing. I took them with a the Samsung, I edited them by myself, and I put because I'm, you know what I mean, like that. So we keep, we'll keep taking more pictures, many, many more. You're not amused by that comment. Oh, come on, man. There are pictures, and they. I took pictures, literally, and it's true. But I took more than pictures. So if, I mean, I think they should also check to see if it was only pictures or not. And then they can also say, oh, he took videos, he did this. That would be nice. Right? Mm. All right, so that's Stoneboy on uh, the picture-taking comments. But mm -hmm. let's move away from Stoneboy and go back to the British High Commission yesterday where right. we had some conversation. Now, we spoke, mm -hmm. you know, it's centered on tourism this yeah. year. So we had conversation about our music and how much music and how much of Ghana this Brits know. Fantastic. It's really nice. Hot. People are friendly. People are lovely. Amazing food. It's nice. Which of the food have you tried? Oh, I've tried a bit of everything, I think. Try Shito, mm -hmm. Kelly Welly, mm -hmm. Tilapia. Wow. It's lovely. It's nice, yeah. I see you've been eating a lot here. And, uh, <laughs> what about our music? Have you tried our music? Um, I've heard of Shatawale. Mm. But I was in Nigeria before I came here. Okay. But I really like Nigerian music. Mm. That was really good, yeah. So I went to the paragliding festival mm, at Easter. Cool. Yeah. So I went to the Meet Me There festival a few weeks before that mm -hmm. and um, other than that I've been to Crocobite which is great as well so they're the only places I've been to out of Accra mm -hmm. since I've been here but I'm really enjoying just like seeing as much of Ghana as I possibly can so I want to see 
as much as you can. of I can as I can, yeah. It's nine months in Ghana, how much do you know about music and movies? Music and movies? I don't think I know anything. <laughs> you would have not been there. listening to Ghanaian music. What have you been listening so to? So we listen to Nigerian music. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, culture is vibrant, lots of colours, lots of kente, lots of nice places to visit and beautiful things to see. The people are hard-working, industrious and incredibly entrepreneurial mm. and wonderfully friendly. Ghana's best asset is its people. The people are excellent people to work with, friendly, open, welcoming, um, honest, hardworking. They are, they are you're a fantastic asset for you because without people you, you're not going to be able to build anything. You've got a long way to go before you reach uh, our stage of development but uh, I reckon you're making some very good, very good steps. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> I, was in a, I was in a haste to bring yeah. the next story before my yeah. time is up. No, so you know that you realize that people said they listen to a lot of Nigerian music and yeah. all that. So Efia was one of the musicians who performed on the night. So I found out from her, how come people are in Ghana, but you're still enthused by Nigerian music? No, oh, the Nigerian music is, um, they have a bigger market, so they're a little bit more out there than we are. But realizing that you live in Ghana, I would also encourage a lot of foreigners that when they come, they should check out the music in the country that they're in. And, you know, you never know what you might discover. Is it that we are not pushing? Sometimes you think that we need to push the music on them, you know, oh, until we push, on push the music on the foreigners. You can't force people to like something. You're not bothered that, you know, you know, they don't come readily saying, oh, I know a fear, I love oh, the music. They know who I am. I'm good. I'm not the one they don't know. Who don't know then? <laughs> exactly. I don't know who they don't know. But I think it's interesting that we put ourselves out there, honestly. Um, especially so that the people can take the music. You know, when they travel back, they'll be like, yeah, I heard this song, and then it spreads there. So a lot of infiltration will be needed to, you know, support that. How, how do we do that? Um, with collaborations, I believe, with a lot of the foreign artists that we're interested in working with, I think that will also help. No. Is it true love or justice, please? Or is it because of what you see? Baby, let me know. I want to love, I want to hold you. Mommy. I want to get someone to touch you. Mommy. It ain't no one above you. Mommy. Okay, so hopefully with a lot of collaborations, they get to hear more Ghanaian tunes. Right. But tomorrow I'll tell you a story of uh, Victor Smith, former ambassador, who tells us yeah. what the Queen told him mm. about Ghana. Oh, okay. Can't wait to hear that. All right, thank you, Miss G.